Hi, this is Joe from The Pond Guy, here to show you how to get your pond ready for spring. Over the course of the year, your pond will accumulate debris and organics, such as leaves, twigs, grass clippings, and fish waste. Although your filtration system may remove some of these debris, the rest will break down into muck and sludge, which will continuously release nutrients into the water and cause algae and water clarity issues. Today we're going to show you, step by step, how to perform a spring cleanout. A spring cleanout is designed to give your pond a fresh start, which will translate into clearer water and happier fish. Here's what you're going to need to get started. To keep you dry, use waders and aqua gloves. If you have fish, you'll need a holding tank or kiddie pool, a fish net, pond netting, and an aeration kit. For draining and cleaning, we recommend to use a submersible pump and drain hose, a pump refilter, a power washer, ClearVac pond vacuum, OxyLift, and black waterfall foam. For jump starting a pond once completed, use Stress Reducer Plus, Seasonal Defense, and Microblift PL Gel. Now that you have what you need, let's get started. Step one, prepare a holding tank. Before you begin, it is helpful to wear waders and have aqua gloves handy. Next, prepare a holding tank for your fish. Kitty pools or other clean Rubbermaid tubs work great. Place your holding tank near the pond in a cool shaded area. Use your submersible pump and drain hose to fill your holding tank with the water from your pond. Fill just enough to keep your fish comfortable. As you're pumping the water out of the pond, larger fish usually will stay away from the pump on their own. But if you're concerned that they're getting too close, keep your mind at ease by using a pump pre-filter. To finish off the holding tank, we recommend adding an aeration kit, like the Airmax Pond Air 2. This ensures oxygen levels stay saturated. Step two, remove fish and drain the pond. Continue draining your pond down to about one foot of water. The remaining water is full of nutrients and is great for watering plants or for nearby gardens. Because catching and removing fish from your pond can be tricky, by reducing the water volume to one foot, it's much easier to catch your fish. Once the pond is lowered, Use a fish net to gently remove the fish from the pond and place them into the holding tank. Finally, place pond netting over the holding tank. At first, your fish may be startled in their temporary space. The pond netting ensures the fish will not jump out. Step three, power wash the pond. Finish draining the pond until it is empty. Wear your aqua gloves to remove heavy debris and leaves from the pond by hand. With large debris removed from the pond, you can easily access the rocks with a power washer to remove any algae, muck, and other debris buildup. Start from the top of the pond and work your way down to force debris toward the pump for removal. A clear vac pond vacuum may be helpful for emptying out the last few inches of water and debris the pump cannot reach. For rocks with stubborn debris that won't wash away, sprinkle on some OxyLift pond cleaner. After 10 minutes, rinse. Continue to power wash and pump out the dirty water. Do this a few times to ensure a good cleaning. Step four, make adjustments. While there is no water in the pond, this is the perfect time to check for any plants that look overgrown and need to be divided and repotted. If you have a skimmer or waterfall filter, check to make sure they are still level and did not shift during the freezing weather. Remember, waterfall filters should be tilted slightly forward for even waterfall. Next, adjust rocks in the pond or waterfall that may have shifted during the winter. Use black waterfall foam to help fill in gaps and secure rocks back into place. Step 5. Check the lights. Check existing lights to make sure they're shining in the right direction and in working condition. Be sure to clean the lenses and change any non-working bulbs. This is also a great time to install any additional pond lighting. Step six, reconnect the plumbing and filters. You are now ready to reinstall your pump back into your pond or skimmer. If your pond was equipped with a UV clarifier, be sure to replace the bulb before reinstalling. The intensity of a UV bulb degrades over time and should be replaced each year. If your pond is equipped with a pressurized filter, replace the UV bulb as well as the filter media. If you have a waterfall filter, wash or replace the filter media. Once all filter media has been washed or replaced, it is a good idea to seed the media with beneficial bacteria. Microblift PL gel is perfect for getting a jump start in bacteria growth. Step seven, refill your pond. Now it's time to refill your pond with fresh water. Depending on the pond size, this may take some time. Add Stress Reducer Plus to remove any chlorine, detoxify heavy metals, and aid in the reacclimation of your fish. Step eight, start up your pond. Start up your filter to circulate the new pond water. Check for any loose connections or areas where the water may be escaping. 
You'll need to top off your pond once your filters and plumbing fill with water. Step 9. Reintroduce your fish. Add some of the new pond water to your holding tank. This will allow fish to gradually get used to the new environment. Give your fish approximately 20 minutes to adjust to the new water chemistry and temperature before reintroducing them to your pond. Remove the netting from your holding tank and gently move your fish back into the pond. If you use the aeration kit from your pond for your holding tank, reinstall it back into the pond. We recommend to wait 24 hours to allow your fish to fully adjust before you begin feeding them. Step 10. Clean up and add natural bacteria. Give your pond a boost by adding your first dose of seasonal defense spring and fall prep. This is a part of the Defense Pack Pond Care Kit. This cold water beneficial bacteria helps replenish winter bacteria loss to further boost biological filters and break down waste. Follow up with routine maintenance to ensure a successful pond season. Congratulations, you have successfully completed your pond clean out. For more expert tips, visit us online at thepondguy.com or give us a call at 866-POND-HELP.